automatically and believe there must Someone be something above me that's created all of this, that or at least it. set into motion. Not that maybe he created, right? I don't know if he created it or whatever, if, or if there is a he or whatever, but... Yeah, then that entity, that. whether it, that entity <laughs> created it or set it into motion, or... Well, I don't know, personally. I don't know, I, I definitely personally, think I, there must be aliens there. There's uh, no way yeah. we are the only intelligent life form in the universe. No way. No, no yeah, way. It's pretty unlikely. <laughs> no it's way. pretty unlikely, I mean, like... <laughs> There's, there's statistics on it, supposedly, but right. I don't know where they're getting them facts. Exactly. But it's unlikely. Yeah, yeah it's got to be unlikely. Yeah, can... But uh, as as far as we know so far, yeah. we're the only one close enough for us to reach or them to reach yeah, us. Exactly. Because like we like, I mean, we kind of know about our solar system a bit, but we don't really know about much further than yeah. that, do we? And do we even know what we think we know about our solar system? Yeah. I mean, I, do you, like, there's all that. There's conspiracies about all of that. But like, uh, I was what? talking about to someone about the Big Bang. Uh-huh. And you know, like, the Big Bang was an explosion that happened. We think <laughs> loads of millions of billions, years ago, billions. billions of years ago. But like, it's a reaction. So like, obviously, it must exploded. It went in and then expanded. But then oh, and became does, the universe. It don't make sense, universe, does but it? Then, but then at some point, does that not mean that? Because it's an endless cycle, everything does that not mean that maybe it, it goes back in and comes back out again? Who knows? Um, maybe because we don't know exactly how old the universe is. But then, what? But like the problem is, and that could be the reason why. What is these... that thing? But if there's this thing that like these what so like two two particles made the big bang and expanded into this whole universe, and then at yeah. some point they're going to contract again into yeah. two particles. But then, re- what, and what, but where are again. them two part? Where are them two particles? Like, what made them? Like, where did they come from? Hey, man, who knows? They I were just know. floating about in nothingness. But like, we can't really comprehend nothingness, can we? We can't because there has we to be cannot, something. Like, well, not I mean, not necessarily, but we can't comprehend. I don't know. I can't comprehend nothing yeah, anyway. I know what you mean. It's oh man, it's, I I enjoyed listening to um yeah the most recent podcast you did with what what's the guy's name? Uh, Ao added. Adesanya. Adesanya. Okay, yeah, Adesanya. yeah. Yeah. San, San, yeah, no, it was really interesting. I enjoyed listening to you guys talking about spirituality. Everyone's um, everyone's got their own view on it, and that's that's one of the beautiful things yeah. about it, and you can kind of do it in your own way, I think. And a lot of the... I think a lot of um, misperception of, of the concept of spirituality comes from people just throwing the word around, but also from, from it being such a broad word yeah because you know i'm in spirituality and some people a lot of people go oh, you sound like a dickhead <laughs> like i sadly like obviously i think we move in circles where a lot yeah. of people accept that kind of stuff like but like uh, in many circles it's like people go what so constrict uh uh what is the word um it's so formal like it's part of the concept yeah well people are used to it yeah yeah like whereas being spiritual is not a new concept by any means but 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 it's become a bit fashionable recently yeah but it's always been kind of fashionable though the hippies were into it yeah but people see it as oh so you're oh you're like you're trying you're you think you're better than me yeah essentially but all it means is no i'm just trying to well, I know it means something different for everyone, doesn't it? Yeah. But it means a positive thing, generally more focused on yourself and just trying to improve, like, and mm-hmm. wanting to be positive around, yeah. like, generally wanting to be positive and happy. It's trying to, yeah. to part of it's about trying to attain sort of a peaceful state, isn't it? But, like, yeah, I think I we touched on religion a little bit on the last episode, but the only thing I do have to say about religion, uh, probably sound like a broken record to anyone that's listened before, is, like, we're trying to follow, like a text that was written hundreds of millions of years ago for a time that f- it worked at that time, but now we're trying to follow it in modern times. Totally it, ridiculous, it, right? But then, obviously, God, if God wrote this in the past, he had the foresight to know that it God, probably... God, God didn't write it. If it. Like, come on, if there is a God, obviously, it's, my opinion means nothing. Yeah, of course, But yeah. if there is a God, he's not, he's not a being that could write. Therefore, someone else wrote it. Yeah. Therefore... Unless there's a way he can communicate with them, it was written by man. Have you seen? Come a on, series... people wrote that shit. Like, yeah, have you <laughs> seen a series called uh, Preacher? No, you should check out a series called Preacher. Okay. It's a dark comedy. Uh, Seth Rogen is one of the producers oh, sick. on the show, and it's basically about this preacher and the word of God is released 
from the wherever it was held in this vessel but he gets out and he gets down to earth and he's trying to find a perfect uh, vessel that he can inhabit in human form so he, right. and he finds this preacher that he okay. inhabits and then it's, it gives this preacher uh, godly powers Yeah. but it's in this time where we're kind of now a time now times where they start with God's gone like he's gone missing they, no one knows where God is so right so then they're trying to find God, and then I don't want to give too much away. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. It's, it's, funny it's, it's though. definitely, it like it's but it's, yeah, yeah, it's funny. It um, oh, what's his name? Did you watch um, uh, uh, Misfits? Nah, oh. I'm afraid I don't. I'm, I'm like, I watch a couple oh. of random TV shows. I've got a weird thing with TV. I just can't watch a lot of TV. I just can't watch. I try, yeah. and it's like, no, this is shit. What, well, there's something about I don't know. Like, there's a lot of good stuff as well. Yeah, don't get me twisted. And there's a lot of probably good stuff that I for some reason don't watch. I just, I don't know, I just can't get into most things. I, just, I watch it for I'm just like, no, I allow it. I don't, I'll do that. I've got stuff to do. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather just be working on something creative. Like, when we get so little time to do creative stuff yeah. because you spend so much time working to earn uh, money, yeah. trying to get by, because, yeah. And then your chill time, you're like, ah, oh, oh, just chill now. And then you just realise it's the And chill time the goes very quickly yeah, because then, you've got to get to bed for work yeah. and... If you stay up late, you feel bad or whatever. Cause you gotta go back to work. And starts all over. Again. That's what I mean. Like even like, like I say, we're pretty happy people. We're pretty lucky yeah. people. Like we're pretty blessed. Be- well, we're all happy and lucky and blessed. We're all yeah. blessed to be living in London in the UK, relatively. You get me, but but I feel like we're pretty happy. We're pretty like blessed people. We're happy with what we're doing. Like, um, but there's still that. Like we still suffer. Like we still take a fair bit of suffering from the yeah. fact that we're oh, I've got to go to like the amount of work we have to do just to get by and fun doing what we want to do and fun basic living and we still fucking live at home yeah so like that is pretty tough and the fact that if we wanted to live by ourselves we would have no time so that's sh- yeah, yeah it's shit but it's not fair like well it's not unfair but back in I don't know like yeah. it, it's not it's not a good system where yeah, you not. have to work all hours if you want to live by yourself that's in london though yeah just got, we've got to get out of london bro but then if you if you're doing something creative you've got to be in london or or in like too, manchester yeah. maybe or like yeah, into like in a big city, city but yeah. really you need to be in london yeah definitely especially in the uk everything and if you want to move to london. somewhere countryside even you're not near the city yeah, yeah you need to be close it's a real conundrum man yeah. like i don't know where do you where do you want to live in your order any ideas i don't want to live in the uk Trust. Oh, yeah, I, I hear that. Just don't want to live in the UK. Just, where Where would you want to bring up your kids? I don't know. Right, that's what I'm saying. I really want to travel before I, wanna, I yeah. before I settle down and bring exactly. up kids because it seems crazy in 2018. The fact that we can travel so easily. Yeah, planes aren't great, but they're happening anyway. Um, so while they're happening, it seems crazy. Yeah, they might not be around that long as well. We might sensible up and yeah. stop all the flights soon. Like. Can you imagine the outrage when we start having to do shit like that? Anyway, yeah. apocalypse <laughs> chat later. <laughs> but no. Um, if it's so easy, like why why would you bring up your kids and settle down and have your life in this country when you haven't seen any of the other countries and how you could yeah. have a life? Like, I've heard of, like I I don't personally I don't want to go there because when I have been like around I've met like a lot some Australians that were kind of dicks and they were kind of drunk, but obviously no no like I've met some great I know some really amazing Australians as well, but um, I don't know Australia's meant to be a great life like people yeah. like you can you don't have to work that much you get paid really well. And you can spend like four days a week, five days a week, chilling on the beach, surfing, yeah. enjoying the world. Yeah, one of my mates sounds like a good he life. That. He lived. He was doing some. Uh, he's still travelling. I think. Nice. I, I think he went to Australia. He was just working on the farm. Uh, yeah, I think you have to. You have to do like agricultural work yeah. or some sort of like helping work when you get there. And he was just sleeping on a hammock. Chilled. Chilled. <laughs> and he was just living life. life. Yeah. But that's the thing. You can do that kind of stuff like relatively cheaply if you do it right you yeah. can do it for nothing if you do it right you can like book a thing like find find somewhere where you can work and stay and eat for free and if you're someone who don't mind a relatively simple life then you're blessed what you're paying for is your flights and then like a little spending money but most of those jobs you get a little spending money yeah and then boom so what you can go you can go somewhere like that for six months for like a couple of hundred like maybe 500 quid for a return flight to australia oh australia's a bit more complicated you have to have five grand to go there there's a the whole yeah. whole thing to it but somewhere else, you, somewhere else where you can go relatively cheaply, get a job there, you can go away for six months for nothing, like. Yeah. But it's but the problem is it's hard to do when you feel like you got ties and stuff. Yeah. Exactly. Like well, for me, it's it's not yeah, it's like work ties and obviously people as well. You have got good people around you, but then again, someone like Spain or Italy, it's doable. Yeah. 
Yeah. Because it's quick flights. You, just, like, you can get 20 quid, well, 20 quid yeah. returns from Spain sometimes. Like, yeah, you can, exactly. Quicker than getting to South London, mate. Learn the language, learn Spanish. That's, that that's what I'm saying. Such a motive. And for writing as well, doing yeah. great stuff, speaking other languages, and for acting. You can network so much more, so many different platforms. Yeah. Are. yeah. I think it just opens your mind in a way. But I want to get on to uh, my, I guess, mini interview of you. Sick. Is that is that a thing? Yeah, yeah, because I have artists on the show and then I kind of interview them. I, uh, my version of it. I'm already gassed to feel like I'm on a podcast. <laughs> you call me an artist. Uh, um, but yeah, like, I'll, I'll, yeah, let's I, do it. like, because, like, the first time I saw you, I saw you on Instagram and it was in a, a Ghetto Geek uh, <laughs> fucking post. You were doing some work geek. in a... Uh, in a school? Probably LZ Primary School. I think, uh, yeah. Well, so, Gator Geek kind of used to, used to work and brought a few of us poets into your workshop. Okay, cool. So that's where I saw you first and I was like, who's this guy? Get a geek? I know this guy. I click on them. I saw you're a poet, listened to a few things and I was like, oh, this guy's dope. Follow. You guys, Safe, I man, think you followed me back as well. I was like, ah, oh, shit. Did I? Followed me back. Good. Yeah. It's hard, it's hard. That's, a, that's a weird one. Yeah. Well, you got to just try and, like, when someone follows you, you got to try and see if it's, like, first check it's a real person. Yeah. And if it is, like, if it's someone, like, creative or, like, they seem like it. But then you never know because you don't want to have your flipping rate. It's all stu- social media's yeah. bollocks. Social media's a load of bollocks. <laughs> but we need it, unfortunately, because that's the way the yeah. world is moving. Yeah, trust me, yeah. So that's where I first saw you, and then Thank after you. that... Thank you, appreciate you taking... Um, I appreciate you taking the time to do that, like, I do. It's uh, weird, it's weird. I say it's a load of bollocks, but then, like... I appreciate people who take the title. Like, if someone watches some of them, I really appreciate that. You know them ones? Yeah. It's, and, it's really uh, nice. And then that. after that, I think I I met you for the very first time at um, Chocolate Poetry this month. Yes. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's... I, I, the moment you walked in, I was just like, I know this guy from somewhere. Yeah, before. and I, I thought we'd met before. <laughs> I thought we'd met somewhere before. And then I was like... So I, I thought I recognised you as well, but it must have been through Instagram. Yeah, and then when you performed, I was like, Yossi, I know this name. Yossi, and then I looked through my stuff. I was like, ah, I've got this guy on Instagram. Yeah, <laughs> it guy. is great because you connect like with <laughs> yeah. other people who have similar interests and stuff. Exactly. Like, it can be, it can be great for that. So I, I saw the uh, before before I started following you, you hadn't. You were just about to start the off uh, topic sessions. Yeah, and then I I, I watched them. Yesterday, all, well, of, all them, of them consecutively. Yesterday. Oh, blimey! Actually, no. Really? I, I watched them all today at work. Oh, safe for that, man. That... One, two, three, wow. four, five, six. That's a lot of acapella poetry in a row. I was gonna what? I was gonna listen to a number, just the recent one. Yeah. And then I was just like, no, fuck it. Oh, safe for that, man. The whole thing, because it was like, uh, uh, I was reading in the description of number six as I was started to listen to. It, I paused it. I had to, and it said, "You done a European tour." Um. But you only did go in the locations you were in Rotterdam and somewhere in Switzerland. Yeah. And then uh, you were done one in North London, I think, yeah. in Barnet. Yeah. Um, but the questions I ha- uh, this is completely off topic, but that's off topic off sessions, topic. you know. Um, but like Bars of the day. The questions that I had for it is like, was there a reason that you chose those poems? Is there a reason why you put them in that order? Um, did you write it specifically for going away or that were they, I, just, I know this is a lot of questions, but did you write it for specifically those times or that place you were going to record it in or was it pre-written poems? Honestly, yeah, like, honesty for the people, it, like, their, their poems, they were all poems that are quite dear to me. Yeah. Like, don't get twisted, they're all poems that are very, very dear to no, me. Yeah, I felt that from all of them. But the making of the project was quite spur at the moment. Okay. Like, it had been something I've been planning for a while and wanting to do in different locations, and the opportunity came up to travel. It was quite... It was part... Literally, me and, me and my best friend, Tyler, mm. um, just decided to do a little road trip. It was during Easter, and we was, was going to be was like, well, for really quite cheap, we can drive... Get to Europe in the car and just drive around Europe for a bit, yeah. see what we can see what we can do, see what we got up to. And, like, we had, we had the camera and the mic with us, and like we had the idea, we had the idea of doing these, recording some poems while we were out there and trying to make a series called Off Topic Sessions. Um, but obviously, we were still getting used to using the filming and using the camera with a new mic. It was a new mic at the time, so it's yeah, like we yeah. bought it for that purpose. Um, 
But then, like, we found we found some cool locations, and, like, we had an idea of the list of poems, but obviously we were we had a broader list, of, like, slightly few, a few more poems so we could find the right locations for all of them. Hence why, obviously, one's done in London, so yeah. we just didn't, we didn't find the right location. We were trying to have a holiday as well. Yeah. Um, but we found a few sit locations while we were travelling. We went to a few more places.